In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of March the 5th, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue of Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Eliah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Eliah was sent, but only to a widow in Sareph, in Sarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled all with fury. They rushed up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hold him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe it's St. John Chrysostomus who says that when the Lord does not want to be troubled, He simply passes with His power among them. Yet the Lord allowed them to take Him there to show us their anger, their rejection. Many times we believe that by becoming friends with God, we're going to have the advantage, we're going to have the blessings in the first in the first person, in the first place, the first in rank. Hey, I'm, I'm an ordained uh, deacon, then I should receive all the blessings of God. But that, that's not the way it works. We have to learn that. The Jews thought that because they were the chosen nation, they were, God was obliged to them. They were the first receivers the first recipients of the blessings of God and they would have it not they would not have it any other way that's why they were so upset they were furious when they heard about it and it was true it certainly happened that way but they lacked the knowledge that they were supposed to be intercessors for when you are the friend of the king you don't necessarily have to ask for yourself. According to God, according to the will of God, you will ask for everyone else. That is the right way. That is the way a priest would do it. Jews and many of our brother, of our Protestant brothers, think that the blessings of God must accompany wealth, well-being, health, and all sorts of stuff. But in the Catholic Church both the Orthodox and the, Latin, the Roman Latin, we believe that the blessing is the cross. And thus, then we will know that if we get ordained, if we are called upon to be ministers of any sort, we are to give. And in given, finding the joy of giving. And wait patiently for the good judge to give our reward, not in this world, but in heaven. That's the way, that's exactly what the Lord is talking about today. The Jews had these widows, but they did not receive immediately the aid. It was a foreigner, the same as with the leper, Naaman. And we, their brothers, should pray to God to become humble that we might have a humble heart, a, a loving heart, that we might be praying day and night for everyone, not only for our family. It's so, it's so egoistical. It's so short-sighted. There's a bunch of mothers and fathers that all pray for the children, for their family. But what kind of, of charity is that? What kind of love is that? There's a bunch of ordained ministers that would only pray when they're paid or for the ones that they love, but they don't really, they don't really pray for those that are in dire need because they don't know them. And how are they going to know them if they don't allow themselves to know them? If they don't allow themselves to be 
light and kindled by the love of God for everyone on the face of the earth. That is what we are called upon to be, intercessors. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.